In the contracting world, you really get what you pay for. And far too often, property owners find that out the hard way. A new program is already helping folks avoid construction project pitfalls from permit application all the way to final inspection. Here's our Laren Livingston to tell us how you can take advantage. Mangoes and rabbits since 1942. That's when Lori Rodriguez says her abuelo bought the family farm in Perrine. He passed it down to his daughter, Lori's mother, and when Lori's mom sadly died from COVID in 2020, Lori not only inherited the farm, but its problems. She says code enforcement came a calling. What qualifies as an agricultural building? What's the legislature on that? What's the size? What's the spacing? What kind of materials do you have? Questions I could not answer. She said she was cited, and when she hired someone to help her clear up the violations. It did not pan out as I'd hoped. This person completely did not do the job. As frustrated as I have been along the process, is just as thankful as I was when I came across, okay, there is an entity here to help guide you. Lori says the homeowner and small business permitting assistance program was a godsend. I'm not aware of any other jurisdiction having a dedicated team that can actually lead homeowners and small business owners through a permitting process. Miami-Dade County Deputy Building Official Sergio Ascunce says the program launched to help get property owners and their projects to the finish line problem-free, for free. We'll start with a, with, with a permit application, you know, how to fill out your, our permit application, um, making sure that they get the right set of plans from a design professional. Whether you've hired a contractor or are managing a project yourself, there's a person here that will uh, take them by the hand, step by step through the process. Think of it as the county's construction concierge service. Skunse says the small team of about half a dozen staffers has already helped more than 9,600 property owners and counting since the program launched in 2019. Folks starting brand new construction or doing renovation and clearing up violations. Through this same program, we have helped over 2,600 uh, homeowners resolve work without permit, and over 400 uh, small business uh, work through zoning issues that they, they got themselves into. You know, there's the old adage, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than to ask for a permit. We, we kind of want to get away from that. We want to make it easy to do business with. Every time you talk about government, sometimes you talk about how things are not quite as practical as they should be, and maybe there's a complete lack of organization internally. This is a really good program. I mean, it's not broke. Don't try to fix it. <laughs> Laren Livingston, Local 10 News. Well, we checked, and while Broward County does not have a designated program, folks in unincorporated Broward or cities the county contracts with can always contact the county with permitting and code questions. And we've got links to that information on our website, local10.com, including a link to Miami-Dade's free permitting assistance program.